Hey boys and girls, a great pepperoni here. Just recently off my world tour. Uh, there in my audience is one of my best friends, the great Salami. Come on up here, Salami. So, that is so silly. Shake my... Well, boys and girls, I uh, uh, brought with me today a very special trick. This is one of my favorite tricks that I do. I do it quite often around the world. Uh, this is called uh, King of Hearts. Notice I have three cards. See the three cards? I have the 10, I have the King, I have the two. Three cards, three cards. Which one was in the middle? You're right, the King of Hearts is the middle card. I'm gonna place them now on the table. All right, so we have three cards. And, and what was the middle card? It was the King of Hearts, you say. You're sure that it was the King of Hearts. Okay, the middle card. I'm gonna keep the middle card right here. And I'm gonna show you just what that middle card is. It is the King of Hearts, at least. This is the king of my heart. This is Jesus. He is my king. And I hope that by the end of this week, he will become your king. I wanted to read to you today uh, a little something from the Bible. I'm gonna read from John chapter eight, verse 12. It says this, when Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. And I want to illustrate that to you by a little, uh, another little trick. This represents you. This represents your heart. This represents Satan. Now, before you take Jesus into your life, before he becomes the king of your heart, you're kind of empty. But once he is in your life and becomes a part of you and becomes the king of your heart, something very special happens. When sin, when, when you're tempted to sin, when somebody asks you to do something that you know is not right, maybe take somebody's pencil or or do something that's just, you know it's not right, but you're tempted. Well, Satan loves to hear that you're tempted, that you want to do something. And he will come and he'll want to whisper into your ear. And as he gets close and starts to whisper into your ear, the light of your life, Jesus, tells you, no, don't do it. That's not what I want. Or maybe you're tempted to, uh, to hit your brother or to hit your sister. And, and Satan is, is, oh, he loves that. He loves to see people fight. So he comes and he wants to whisper into your ear, hit your sister, hit your sister, hit your sister. Come on, hit her, hit her. And Jesus, the light of your life says, no, don't do it, don't do it. Or, or maybe you get very mad at your mom and you want to tell your mom, you want to say something ugly to your mom. Satan says, go ahead, tell her, tell her. Tell her you don't like her. Tell her to go away. Go ahead. Jesus, the light of your life, will tell you what is the right thing to do. So it's very, very important that in your life, you take Jesus into your heart so that he can protect you from all of the sins, the things that Satan would love for you to do. He'll protect you if he's a part of your life, a part of your heart.